Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Jay Cruz and welcome back to another video. And this one, well, we're gonna go over the brand new changes that I've made to my Fano SP6. Let's get it. Before we get to the rest of this video, please do all the things that help this channel grow. Like this video, comment and subscribe. Hit the bell notification icon so you get an alert every single time I upload a video. If you have some free time, please check out some of the affiliate links in the description box below as well. Without further ado, let's get started. So I recently made a video, I'll link it right up here, where I opened up an early Christmas gift present that I got for myself, and that was the Fano SP6. The Fano in its original form was phenomenal. It came loaded with Imperial pickups and it was great and it was certainly your typical humbucker style guitar and I appreciated that. But it was missing a few key elements that made it feel like it was more suited to my personal needs. I don't wanna call these things upgrades as some people would refer to them as because I think upgrading a guitar is very, very personalized, right? What, what could be an upgrade for me may not be an upgrade for you. So I'll call them modifications. One of the first things I did was install a B5 Bigsby on this guitar, but not just anyone. I decided to go for a real life relics version. The reason I did that and decided to spend a little bit extra money on the Bigsby was because I wanted it to match the aesthetic of the guitar. Having like a brand new Bigsby on here would have probably been off just a little bit. So I thought, let me go with one that's already been pre-reliced. In doing so, we inevitably needed to change out the bridge. And what I thought would be quite simple actually was a little bit of a challenge. Besides the fact that Fano at the time was in-housing a lot of their products, such as the short tail Tele bridge, it was also a vintage style. That means I had to find a short tail bridge, Tele style bridge that could have Bigsby through, meaning the, uh, the slots for the strings to flow through the actual bridge so that the Bigsby could be in use and it had to be only three screws, not four. Pretty challenging, believe it or not, and if you try looking on the internet, you're gonna find that you are probably either gonna to have to kind of modify the one that already exists, and I didn't wanna do that to the Fano one, or you're gonna to have to spend some money on the one or two that exist out there, which that's what I ended up doing. So I got a Callahan short tail Tele bridge that was made for a Bigsby. And last but not least, all the way from Australia, I ordered some Mr. Fabulous mini humbuckers. One of the reasons why I went with those humbuckers was because I heard that they had a more Tele-esque kind of feel. And as you guys know, that's more of my avenue. Now I wanted it to sound different from my other guitars, but at the same time, I still wanted to have some top end clarity, which is what I felt I was missing with the Lawler Imperials. They're amazing pickups, just not necessarily for what I do on a daily basis. So I took a chance on these pickups and I have to say, I think they're hitting very very close to home. Definitely allowing me to bounce back and forth between styles that I'm not so known for and styles that I am very known for, like the ambient stuff that I do all the time on this channel. Now the big question is, the modifications may look decent, but did they actually improve the guitar for me personally? And the answer is 110% yes. Fano SP6 was a guitar that I had my eye on for a long time and I was obsessing about it. See, one of my goals here is to eventually have a guitar that would kind of cover every single need tonally that I would ever need in my personal studio or in my collection. And so a humbucker style guitar was always on the list to get back in my life. But finding one that suited my needs was actually kind of tough. As I mentioned in the past, or in the, at least in that video where I described why I like the Fano, I've always had a hard time gelling with uh, Les Paul style guitars or like Gibsons in particular. They just never seem to feel right in my hands and I struggle with them. After finding this guitar and the way it was like Telly and Les Paul Jr. in one, the way it was Frankenstein like that, I was excited because I thought this would this would probably suit all of my needs. So after all this time waiting and debating and then finally pulling the trigger, spending a 
lot more money than I wanted to spend on this guitar, I got the guitar and I did not like it. Truth be told, I did enjoy the guitar, it made me play differently, but I was having a very, very difficult time truly vibing with the guitar. So it wasn't necessarily that it was a bad guitar, more so that it just wasn't suiting my needs. Either I was going to resell this guitar immediately or give it a chance. And though I listed it, I did still decide to give it a chance and I invested even more money in this guitar by purchasing the things that I felt were going to make this guitar better for me personally. <laughs> And I'm so glad that I did so because now I fell in love with this guitar. It's quickly become a guitar that I'm picking up on a daily basis, which is to tell you how good it now feels and sounds in my hands. Now let's quickly talk about the pickups. Though the Lawler Imperial pickups were good, it definitely was missing a little bit of clarity for me that I desired, especially the neck pickup. Though I thought it was usable, it still wasn't kind of giving me what I wanted. Now the Mr. Fabulous pickup, though you could argue it's a little bit thinner sounding, I think it's actually more clear. Thinner doesn't always mean bad, it just means clarity. It's taking away some of the frequencies that I didn't want from the neck pickup and enhancing the frequencies that I did want. <laughs> I was actually debating leaving the Imperial in there because it sounded just fine, but I knew that I was really desiring mini humbuckers on both ends of this thing. And I definitely found a pickup that was super versatile. Everything from like heavy distortion type things to solo stuff, nailed it. <laughs> talk about both pickups at the same time the middle position because this is a telly style pickup selector I use that position all the time on my telly and so I wanted to find pickups that could vibe that way on this guitar as well and I certainly did with the Lawler Imperials it was okay but again I was just missing something it almost felt like I was playing a set of dull strings where I had no kind of attack on there no matter what I did no matter how much I switched EQs on pedals and amps it just didn't it wasn't popping for me. As soon as I put these pickups in there, I felt like that attack and that clarity came out of this guitar that was certainly missing before. <laughs> had all these modifications done for quite some time now so it's been very very frustrating to not show it to you uh, but I was kind of behind on videos and I wanted to wait a little bit and put some space between me showing you the guitar in its original form and the modifications so now that we've got these modifications done you can definitely expect to see this guitar a little more often on the channel and I'm super excited about it <laughs> Thank you. 
Be sure to let me know in the comment section what you think of this guitar. Do you think the modifications were good, bad, or the same? Does it sound better, look better? You tell me and try to be as kind as possible, even if you have a, a, an opposing opinion. Don't forget to also like this video, hit the bell notification icon so you get an alert every single time I upload a video. You can also check out some of the affiliate links in the description box below. There's also a link that you can use to donate to the channel directly if you choose to do so. Thank you all so much for watching and until next time.